You are here to empty the tank. You are here to leave it all out there. And we are about to Everest. So we're gonna climb up this mountain eight times and it's going to equate to 29,029 ,029 feet the height of Mount Everest. It's Friday at 29 to 29. It's the best Friday ever because we're gonna get about 260 people up the mountain here at Whistler on the Ascent Trail. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be a magical day and wait till you see the summit. So hard. This is insane. I can't stay awake. I don't know what's up with me. I'm like I just took a sleeping pill. It's so hard to actually fathom what 29,029 ,029 feet of climbing looks like. I mean, we literally climbed the vertical height of the Empire State Building 23 times. It's a number that's so absurdly high that it really doesn't feel achievable. Bree and I weren't ready in the slightest, but when 29029 hit us up six months ago asking if we wanted to take on the challenge, of course we said yes. But let's rewind and give you some context. Bree and I had an entire summer of mountain adventures planned to train for this, but our summer ended up getting flipped upside down and we had a ton of international work. We were doing a handful of jobs in Oxford, in London, across Turkey, and then rather than going home to Denver to recoup and get all of our outdoor gear, we ended up flying straight to Vancouver where this adventure begins. My suitcase is about at 99.9% .9 capacity, struggling to get all my crap in here. <laughs> and we're Everesting tomorrow, woo! <laughs> Why, I don't know, but I'm pumped. Packing up our Vancouver hotel, we are heading out. We have a bus to Whistler. So much luggage, it is so heavy and so horrible, and mine doesn't have wheels, and hers is broken. Woo! Hold all our stuff over, and now we have to go drop our bags at the gear tent, going right into everything. And that is the bag I'll be carrying with all the essentials. We're staying at the Hilton Resort and Spa, so one cool thing about this event is it is all-inclusive, so once you're here, don't need to worry about anything. I've never done a race before in my life. This is... <laughs> So we were not expecting to be balls to the wall as soon as we got here, but we got our stuff packed. Now we're hoping we can make it to lunch. After an incredible lunch, we did some breath work exercises. We worked with the coaches in breakout sessions and Jesse and Colin got us fired up for what was to come the next morning. All right, how many people are crazy enough to get up on a Friday at 6 a.m. and say, I want to climb this mountain? Through the night, through the rain, through the cold, not sleeping. But we will never, ever give you one of these. Ever. You can offer myself, Jesse, and Mark a million dollars, and we are not going to give you a red hat. A red hat has to be earned. I'm ready for the morning, and when we opened our door to the hotel room, we saw our swag bags. 29029 hat. Ooh! Ooh, Colin O'Brady's new book. Uh -huh. Shirts. Electrolyte. Welcome letter. Chapstick. Squirrel's nut butter. What is it earplugs for? I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are those for? For when Kevin's being annoying. So these right here are the seven tallest mountains in each continent in the world. Everest, which is our goal. So we're gonna need to do eight laps to get that final check mark. Do you have any advice for us? Yeah, I would say um, don't listen to your instincts. Um, fight through the pain and you guys are gonna crush it. We miss I got you. so much confidence in you guys. I know you're gonna fucking crush it. <laughs> Kevin didn't bring a coat. He brought like Patagonia jacket, but I'm pretty sure it's a recall because it's like paper thin. Anyways, this is his coat for rain, hail, maybe some snow, and 30 degrees. See you in the morning, bright and early, 3.45 a.m. I took melatonin, I never take melatonin. So hopefully I can catch some Z's and wake up and do the hardest thing I've done in my entire life. Cheers to coffee. First coffee of the day. First of 20. <laughs> Gonna begin our jam session, because it's 3.45 in the morning. Looks like she's getting ready for the perfect song. I'm gonna be rocking like this, what? <laughs> Look at these. Woo! Getting real. <laughs> Discombobulated. Oh, no oh, this is super I just want to welcome everybody once again to Whistler. And this mountain behind me, man, it's not going to climb itself. Something that you guys will remember forever. And the only thing stopping us is ourselves. Woo! So today, tomorrow, tonight, we're going to empty the tank. Have a great day, everybody. Woo! In three, two, one. Woo! Woo! We just passed the halfway point to the top of the first lap. Beautiful inversion clouds below, and it's starting to set in how serious this is gonna be. It feels so good to be out here. Lap one in the book. Lap one, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm being completely honest, that was a leg burner. One out of eight down. I feel really good, the energy is amazing. So we are in the gondola down. It is about a 20 minute ride. Feeling really good, obviously, you know, you feel it in your legs, but you kind of, you know you're expecting that. It is kind of a crazy thought to think that the second we step out of this, and after we brand, we go right back up. It's kind of uh, crazy. It is cold in this gondola. It feels like it dropped like a solid like 10 degrees. I'm really excited to do the branding. We found a bear. Oh. I'm just about to put this in something. What is it? It's going everywhere. <laughs> this is straight up like powder. <laughs> this is what we do when we finish the lap. We get to brand on the board. Welcome to the board for the first time. Let's get you guys branded up. All right, you're gonna come right in here, Bree. Okay. 
placing that just you don't have to push as much as just place it and just hold it. Uh -oh. Here, oh, we it Here we go. Here we go. Take it off. Slow. Ooh, oh, yeah. Look at nice. that. I've never climbed this much vert in one push ever in my life. Let me tell you, my legs agree. <laughs> Gotta say, the aid stations are so nice. We have a pretty long course. I think it is their longest course of all of their events. Here is in so much pain. We're gonna go into the recovery tent just for like two minutes. Hopefully they can like rub me right here. Get some booty rubbing. Yeah, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Lap two, baby, in the books. Oh my gosh, honestly, this is so, so hard. But we're doing it, one foot in front of the other. It's surreal, honestly. It's just like, you push through the pain, you just accept that this is so painful and that's that. That's gonna be a reality for the next 36 hours. We're at the recovery lounge at the lap two. Sit down in some cup of noodles, massage guns. It feels like this is just abusing me. It hurts <laughs> so bad. Oh my god, that's long. <laughs> Alright, here it is. Oh, oh man, it's noodles. Oh shit. Oh my god. Wow. There is a little bit of raindrops on the window. So let's see how that plays out. <laughs> Looks like we might be hiking in the rain. Stay right there. Getting my first Got check mark. <laughs> and just like that, lap number three, we just climbed the equivalent of the tallest mountain in Australia. And we will not hit another one of the seven summits until we finish lap five. So. I'm soaked from sweat, not the rain. Um, let's get it. Thirty-six hours of pain worth a lifetime of experience that you'll remember and cherish. Yes. So it goes far beyond these thirty-six hours. With that said, enjoy that pain. Yes. <laughs> I'm really hurting. I'm tired. We're approaching the top of lap three. I'm in so much pain. I'm trying to focus on one step at a time, but also you can't forget the fact that I have to do five more of these. Right here hurts. It's 1.30 and it is time for lunch at Rendezvous Lodge. Proper full meal rather than just snacking at each aid station. We did it! <laughs> nice work! <laughs> Welcome! Thank you. Yeah. Put it on the 
gondola and realize we forgot our poles. You know why I realized it's because I'm like, I feel like I don't have nearly as much stuff as I should. <laughs> oh my god, it's freezing. Oh my god. I don't want to upset my stomach. Yet again, we're gonna hike up 4,000 feet. <laughs> it's so cold. I don't want to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Both having a little bit of stomach issues. Just took some Pepto at the last aid stations. Oh my god, my stomach hurts so bad. I feel like at any moment I could just in the pants. Oh, this sucks. This is so horrible. And then like aid stations are like far apart. And aside from this, like you're doing like this hike, which is also is so brutal. So this is the worst part. <laughs> Stomach. We got Alcacet with the seltzer. Um, really hope it works because, like, if I feel like this, like, I cannot do all we've done again because that will be we're only halfway finished. So, really hope that it starts to get better. You cannot see <coughs> is my pants pulled down to like barely covering anything. I think the high-waisted leggings are aggravating my bloat. So, you never know what's going on under a puppy jacket, do you? <laughs> I feel an improvement in my stomach. Nowhere to go but up after that. Like, I can push through the pain, I can push through the shortness of breath and the burning legs but that was brutal that was so awful i feel like you can pretend you're not in pain but like you can't pretend that you're not going to shit your pants so <laughs> uh, we have been out here for 12 hours and we just finished four laps so we are exactly halfway this is so annoying look at his bowl and look at mine <laughs> the spread looks amazing and i literally like it's so dumb if i try to have any of it This little woman just worked my legs so incredibly. It was so painful. I was wincing, but I feel like I have a new leg. It's insane. Like, wow, she's so wonderful. <laughs> Bree just got a hip replacement and a new leg. <laughs> I was in the Norma Tech boots for a solid 20 minutes on like level seven. It was phenomenal. And then did some stretching, got some CBD rub on my legs. Sun's going down, getting cold quick. We were offered blankets. These guys are amazing. 29029 is amazing. And I have hot tea. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a new woman. <laughs> It's not running on my nose. It was so disgusting. <laughs> You look insane. <laughs> we just finished lap number five. Got some more cup of noodles. Oh, you got it. Yeah. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? Like, I am dying. <laughs> you keep going. Ooh. 
Vincent Alvarez, now you're up at Kelly. I'm so sweaty and wet. I want to go back to the room, but we can't. Wow, we have one more lap before we even think about going to a bed. This is insane. Oh my god, this is so hard. Like, you can't even fathom how hard this is. They fit great once they're on. It's like getting my hand in here it just doesn't work. I have a ginger too. I thought maybe how distracts my brain and be like, she's awake, she's eating, but now I'm just gonna fall asleep and then choke on the ginger too. So <laughs> this is a, this is insane. I can't wait for this one to be over so we can rest for tomorrow. I can't even move. Hi, I'm so tired. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it at all. So mentally challenging. We've been up for 22 hours. Every part of you just wants to fall asleep. Wondering. Yeah. Six mountains. <laughs> Six mountains. B just triangles. climbed Aconcagua and Denali. There's one summit left. It feels weird being in an endurance event that's currently still going on, but we're in our hotel room. Um, it feels great. Honestly, even if like we were gonna like continue going tonight, it would have been so pointless because we we're moving slow as molasses. Coming back right now is the smartest thing we could do. That was the worst three hours of sleep I've ever had with the weirdest dreams, like 7.30. Two more laps, we got this. <laughs> that was a weird night of sleep and I just, it feels like it didn't even happen. So my strategy is to just not think that we did six yesterday. I'm gonna just think that in order to Everest, I have two laps to go. And I did not do this six times yesterday because that's unfathomable. Alright, we're here. Bree scarfed down an oatmeal, I scarfed down half a bagel. Let's get it. switch from a white bib to a red bib and it says in big letters final ascent it's awesome everyone knows you're on your last one you're on your last push and so i think it's going to be a really fun lap literally if you ever do this event this is the best thing to eat for your stomach like it's easy on it it's warm and it's just amazing yeah. do you have what it takes to everest yeah i do Woo!
station one. I've never done any, anything even close to this. To do this, it's like 31 miles is pretty insane. 31,000 feet, it's supposed to be 29, 29, but we got, wanted some extra miles and Bert. So coming into this event, I had no idea if I was gonna succeed or not. I was like leaning on the like side of no, because it was in such uncharted territory. Jesse and Colin and like, Colleen, like all, oh, we're giving these motivational speeches. You can do it. To be honest, the mindset is what got me through this, like without a doubt. We're running on like next to no sleep. Yeah, it's just been a life-changing experience and I'm excited to see what else my body can do. Behind me right here is the top of the freaking trail and it's our eighth lap and that means we're gonna get red hats and we have climbed the height of Mount Everest. <laughs> Oh my Ooh. god! 29,029 feet! <laughs> Let's go, guys! Let's go! Oh my god! And that is going to conclude our journey with 29029 Everesting in Whistler, Canada. That was easily the hardest thing that Bree and I have ever done, but it was the experience of a lifetime. And I'm just so glad that we were able to do this together every step of the way and finishing together was something that I'll never forget.